So this is a video on chromatography. So there's only one aim in this, this uh, video really, that's to understand how chromatography works. There's only really one question you get asked on chromatography and that is just to, to explain um, how it works. So chromatography is a way of separating a mixture of compounds um, and the, the type of chromatography that you'd be um, most familiar with is, is the chromatography used to separate penning, which generally you do in your 7, 8, 9, 10 and, and so on. And um, when you do that you have a piece of paper and you draw a line across the bottom, you put your splodge of pen which is usually a black ink because that has lots of colours in and and it's a uh, and you can see all the colours separate out and then you place that, uh, you dip that in a in a beaker of water um, and then making sure the water is no higher than the dot and basically what happens is the water uh, rises up the dot or the, all the pen ink um, dissolves in the water that's rising and then depending on how soluble the different colours are in the water and how much they get uh, they're attracted to the paper, they'll get separated out. So we call the water the mobile phase because it moves up the paper and we call the paper the stationary phase because that stays still compared to the uh, the molecules that are, that are going up it. And basically the separation depends on how soluble the compounds are on the mobile phase and how attracted they are to the stationary phase. And um, and the balance between how soluble on a mobile phase and how um, how attracted they are to the stationary phase will cause them to stop at different parts of the piece of the paper. Uh, the different colours will, and therefore they'll be separated out because all different colours will stop at different points. So the key is here is to remember the stationary phase. The different molecules are attracted to the stationary phase. The mobile phase. The different molecules have different solubilities in the mobile phase, and their separation depends on the balance between how attracted they are to the stationary phase and how soluble they are in the mobile phase. Generally, in an exam paper, they ask you how you can separate amino acids, and this is the way you'd separate amino acids chromatography. But if they ask you to how to separate anything else. Generally, the answer would be chromatography because that's the only separation method you get taught in, in Chem 4. So here's a typical exam question. It says a tripeptide was heated with hydrochloric acid and a mixture of amino acids was formed. The mixture was separated by column chromatography, um, which is another type of chromatography. So use a, a powder instead of paper, um, such as silica, um, which is aluminium oxide, and that will be the stationary phase. And that will be in a tube. And then... Um, the solvent is put at the top, the mobile phase is added at the top, and then that runs down the column rather than going up like you like you do when you're separating penning. Um, so the mixture is separated by column chromatography. Outline briefly why chromatography is able to separate a mixture of compounds. Practical details are not required. So that's, that means you don't need to put in what the different com what the stationary phase is actually made of and what the mobile phase is. All you have to do is say the following. So you'd say there's a mobile phase, so um, compounds attracted to stationary phase compounds have different solubilities in mobile phase that's second mark, so first, far, first mark for mentioning the stationary phase, second mark for mentioning the mobile phase, and then final mark for saying balance between um, retention on stationary phase and solubility In mobile phase, determines separation. So there's your three marks. Compounds attracted to stationary phase. Compounds have different solubilities in mobile phase. And the balance between retention on stationary phase and solubility in mobile phase determines the separation. Um, and that is how they're separated out. 
Make sure you email me if you have any other questions on, on chromatography.